Well, folks, uh, many service members return from overseas with little direction and no idea what to do next. Uh, for those who suffered injuries, uh, the journey can be even tougher. Now, my next guest found his way thanks to Wounded Warrior Project, and now he's helping others. Uh, please welcome today's Harvey hero, Carlos. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your time in the service. I, I joined the Army out of uh, Lawrence, Massachusetts, and, you know, nothing better than joining the greatest Army in the world. Spend... <laughs> I served 10 years in the Army, and uh, I did two deployments to Iraq. In 2007, I was deployed with the 2nd Infantry Division, and I was mortared by a mortar attack on our base. Ended up in Landstuhl, Germany. I was medically retired. That's pretty much where, where everything started with the Wounded Warrior Project for me. What was it like going home? It was a tough transition. You know, I have, you know, my wife and my two beautiful children and, you know, going through everything. Here you are one minute, you know, wanting to do 20 plus years in the Army and now you're kind of stuck and not sure what you're gonna do, how you're gonna continue supporting your family, yeah. education and so on. So Wounded Warriors, I'm just yeah. trying to get a real yeah, understanding. Yeah helped you even in that transition? Oh, definitely. The Wounded Warrior Project reached out to me about, you know, one of their programs down in Jacksonville, Florida, and they basically told me that I would pick my family up and move down with my family to Florida to continue my, or to start my education at that, because I hadn't even started it, to be, you know, quite honest. And uh, once I did that, it was probably the greatest decision, you know, besides the military. That was one of the greatest decisions yeah. I ever made. So because of this program, you now help others. Oh, definitely. Um, you know, if you ever look at the Wounded Warrior Project logo, you'll notice that it's a warrior carrying another warrior. Through that transition, you are that warrior being carried. Well, once I graduated from the track program, I wanted to be the warrior on the bottom, helping other warriors carrying them. So what the Wounded Warrior Project did, they created a program, the peer support program. We come together to focus on the positive things and get us engaged in the community. You know, get out there working with young kids to organizations like City Streets to student athletes and just, you know, do what we have to do, so. Well, yeah. <laughs> i tell you something, uh, Carlos, you don't know this, but uh, we found a couple of men that you've uh, mentored. Please welcome Kevin and Felix. Yes, sir. sir, how are you? Thank how you doing, you. man? Good, man? All right, good. Good, man. Sit down, fella. Kevin, you needed help after returning home. Uh, correct, Steve. Um, I was just in a, after a third deployment, dark place, not knowing what direction I was, finding out I'm getting out of the military. Instead of turning to ask for help, I turned to alcohol. Got in contact with Wounded Warrior Project. That's where I met Carlos. He taught me to be proud of what I did and not hide it. And, and show it. Yeah. And so, I, just, I mean, yeah. I thank you for that. Yeah, I truly thank you for that. Yeah. And, uh, Felix, you also met uh, Carlos doing the uh, Wounded Warrior Project. What was your experience? Well, Steve, after my second deployment, I came back just like everyone else. We go home, don't know anyone. You know, we all, friends are split up, and, you know, we all drown ourselves, our sorrows, and, and everything behind the bottle. So after a couple months after coming back, I joined the National Guard. It's where I met my wife, love you, Heather. And um, met Carlos as well. His courage, his friendship, his loyalty, to have him be a mentor for me was just groundbreaking. And it allowed me to be the person I am now. And it's all thanks to Carlos and the Wounded War Project. Yeah. So the Wounded Warriors is actually just for any veteran Correct. that yes. needs help. Any post 9-11 veteran. Okay. Well, Carlos, we wanted to honor you, sir, because you are definitely one of Harvey's heroes. Yeah. And that's what we're gonna honor you with the Harvey's hero jacket yeah. right there. Congratulations, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Look, Thank you. 
Okay, folks, uh, check this out. You know, through the Believe in Heroes campaign, uh, Wounded Warriors Project is raising funds and awareness for the long-term needs of service members and their families. And you can do your part now through November 20th with the simple act of grocery shopping. For a complete shopping list of participating retailers and brands in your area, head over to steveharveytv.com. So I want to say thanks to Carlos, Kevin, and Felix. Hey, folks, welcome. Uh, thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. Don't forget to click here to subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss a single hot new video, some really good stuff. And then I want you to click here to see more clips from the show right now.